In this video, I'm going to talk about remote utilization review and utilization management nursing. Consider this your career guide to transition into a remote UR or UM role. Hey, it's Emma with Nurse Fern. We help nurses discover, learn about, and land remote nursing jobs through our mostly free and a few paid resources on our site. If you've ever been interested in remote nursing or alternative roles, but you're not really sure how nurses transition into those from clinical nursing, this is the series for you. We're going to kick this series off by going over UR, UM nursing. What you can expect from this video is that we're going to talk about what UR and UM nurses do, how to get started and transition into one of these roles from clinical nursing, what type of experience you need, if there's any certifications you can get that will help, and who hires nurses into these positions, what type of companies, and what job titles to look for. As a bonus, make sure you stick around to the end because I'm going to share some real feedback from nurses who work in a remote UR or UM role and what their day in the life looks like. A quick ask for you. If you can already tell that this video is going to be really helpful and you like our style, can you give us a quick thumbs up? It really helps our small channel. While UR and UM nursing is similar, the big difference is that they focus on a different point in the patient journey. UR and UM nurses evaluate whether services are appropriate for a patient's specific medical condition. They make decisions using standardized benchmarks and criteria like interqual. If you're interested in how criteria like interqual and MCG work, make sure you check out the linked resource below with some examples of how to apply it. So some UR and UM nurses focus on a specific point in the utilization management journey. This is either prospective, concurrent, or retrospective. Prospective, also known as prior auth or pre-certification, happens before a patient receives the treatment. Concurrent is reviewing while the patient is receiving the procedures or the treatment, like if they're in the hospital at this moment. Retrospective. This might be required if a pre-certification or prior auth did not occur or wasn't possible, like for an ER visit. It can also just be part of the regular auditing process. How to get started and transition from clinical to utilization management or review nursing. It is completely possible to transition from a bedside or a clinic out patient position into a UR UM role. Now, many nurses find that it is more difficult to find positions that are open to accepting nurses that don't have experience in this, but it is completely possible. That is one of the things we specialize in at Nurse Fern. Our job board highlights positions that might prefer that you have experience in a specific role, but doesn't require it. Most often you'll see that UR and UM roles require three to five years of acute care experience. You'll also see ones that will accept LTAC, SNF, outpatient, provider office experience. You just have to read the requirements closely. Now this might seem the most obvious, but if you're interested in transitioning from UR, UM and you meet the basic requirements in a job posting, make sure you apply. It often takes a lot of applications to remote nursing positions to finally land a role, but you're never gonna get there if you don't submit that application. But I'm here to tell you that you absolutely can transition from a bedside position into a URUM. Some nurses who find that they have lots of difficulty or don't want to keep banging their head against a wall in the remote application process will transition into a utilization review or management position within their current facility, gain experience before they try again at moving into a fully remote role. Many nurses are often pleasantly surprised as well to find that acute care hospitals are starting to accept remote work. It was something that they had to face head-on in 2020, many are keeping a hybrid or remote work environment in place. Acute care hospitals are also terrible at advertising whether a position is truly remote. If you have an inside track, somebody to talk to, or even are just curious and want to get your app in and find out more, apply for that position and then talk to HR, management, the nursing manager, and find out how the work environment is with the position. What experience do you need for remote utilization review or management? Nurses from all backgrounds can transfer into this type of position. And this even includes nurses who work in NICU, OR, outpatient, provider offices. There is a job and a place for everybody that has a nursing background. Most often I will see the requirement for three to five years of clinical experience in an acute care environment. And then in the job postings, you will often see too if they call out a specific type of nursing that they would prefer you have experience in. Certifications. This is always a hot topic with the transition from an acute care bedside to remote role, we naturally want to give ourselves the best chance possible when we're applying. So if there's an educational program or 
certification we can get as a nurse, we naturally look for it. In this case though, most of the certifications that are advantageous, that employers want, aren't something that you can get without having experience in that role. So I say this both as an encouragement to just get out there and start applying, and maybe a relief that it's not something that you need to put on your plate because it isn't really possible at this point. Common certifications that experienced UR and UM nurses hold typically require two years of experience in the position before you can sit for an exam. This is similar to other desirable certifications like CCRN, CCDS for CDI nurses, the pediatric certs, CEN for emergency nurses. You can't get them before you have experience because the entire purpose of the certification is to demonstrate your knowledge and skill in that position. Two common certifications that experienced UR and UM nurses get are Care Guidelines Specialist in Utilization Management offered by MCG Care Guidelines and Healthcare and Quality Management. And this one is offered by American Board of Quality Assurance and Utilization Review Physicians. It's also often advantageous when you're applying for remote roles if you simply do have your specialty certification in your current specialty or if you at some point have worked in case management and you have a CCM certification. Once again, don't worry if you don't have a certification in this position before moving forward with applications. Who hires remote utilization review and utilization management nurses? Major insurance providers, acute care hospitals, and government and other health agencies hire UR and UM nurses. And here are some job title and company pairings for you. Humana, utilization management nurse. Cigna, PAC DME, utilization review analyst. Kaiser Permanente, post-acute utilization management care coordinator. Humana, LPN utilization management. CVS Health, utilization management consultant. Elevance Health, RN utilization management senior. United Health Group, utilization management nurse RN. I'm gonna post a link in the comments to a resource that is free on the NurseFern website that is all of the jobs, including company name and job title that we have ever posted on the NurseFern website. The descriptions also include if there were any specific requirements for how much experience and type of experience before transitioning into the role. It's probably our most underutilized resource on the website. Now it's time to share our bonus content, which is real life feedback day in the life of UR and UM nurses who work from home. I'm assigned a list of accounts and I use InterQual to evaluate medical necessity for admissions and continued stays. I work five by eight hours, two Saturdays a month. Never on the phone, just communicate with team members via Teams or email when needed. I move around the house all day, take breaks, etc. Only requirement is productivity of 30 plus reviews a day. I work 8 to 4.30 with an hour lunch Monday through Friday. I review cases to determine if approved or denied. I have a laptop so I can go anywhere for work. I also have multiple monitors in my office, which makes things easier, so I tend to work there. I can take breaks as needed. Not on the phone too frequently. Have several meetings a day, but typically they are to discuss changes in regulations and discuss difficult cases with other staff and our medical directors. It is a very laid back place to work unless you have important meetings. I have approximately 40 members that I am assigned to review at a time from admission to discharge usually averages to about 12 to 19 a day to get through. Have weekly rounds one day a week and huddles with my team one day a week. Other than that, I'm free to move around the house. I've worked there since May and I have been on the phone maybe three times with the hospitals. My team lead checks in on me once a week and my team has a group chat. I have talked to the MDs for our company a couple of times when they have questions about something I send them. I have my toddler at home with me and we have been able to potty train and I take frequent breaks to play with him. At Nurse Fern, we usually qualify UR and U UM nursing as more of an introverted role where you'll have limited phone time, but you will still be working at your desk. I hope you found this video for UR and UM nursing helpful. Make sure to check out the linked video for continued information about remote nursing.